Hello there, people of the internet. This video is probably going to piss some people off. I do apologize for that, but let me say my piece. 3040 Crag is a better cartridge than 30-06. Now, before you go lynching me in the comments and feeding me to the wolves, hear me out, hear my arguing piece, and uh, listen to what I have to say. So whenever we talk about 3040 Crag versus 30-06, uh, we're not talking about like from a combat perspective. We're not talking about if you took a 3040 Crag versus something like an M1 Grand and you were using it to like fight off whoever it is you were trying to fight off. Uh, we're talking about here in the United States and for like common practical purposes. And for common practical purposes, you're going to be using it for like sporting purposes or for hunting purposes. Now, if you are in the plains of the Midwest where you're taking shots at like 800 plus yards, or you're up in the mountains where you're going after elk or something like that, something large, then maybe a 3040 Crag won't be right for you. Maybe you need something with a little bit more power behind it uh, to be able to make those shots on bigger targets at farther distances, so a 30 at six might be right for you. However, here in the state of Florida, right there, those jungles of Florida are what it is that I hunt in. Now, unless you have like an open field or swamp land or like your own cleared out area, the longest range that you're going to be firing in a spot like that is going to be 100 yards, if that. 100 yards, basically none of these rifle rounds are going to slow down very much, and a 30 out 6 firing a 150 grain pill at 3,000 feet per second is pretty gosh darn spicy for the types of animals that we have around here. Here in Florida, like deer tend to get like 150, maybe 180 pounds, somewhere in that ballpark. So they're not very big. I had a buddy of mine with a seven millimeter 08 and he hit a deer that was like head on with him. He hit it center mass. And the inside of the deer was like, you know how you, like you shoot a watermelon and the watermelon innards like turn into like a slushy. That's what it was like. So we lost a lot of meat on that deer. And that was just a seven millimeter 08. That wasn't a 30 odd six. So a little bit of overkill for the distances we're shooting at, at, you know, the targets that we're shooting at. Uh, it's just, it's too much of a cartridge for this particular area. Uh, especially if you are wanting to not have to get rid of a lot of destroyed meat on your game. Now, plenty of people still use 30-06. It's absolutely a cartridge that will do the job. But something a little bit less powerful might be more ideal. 30-06 is definitely a much more available cartridge in comparison to something like 3040 Crag, including rifles chambered in those cartridges. But unless you're getting yourself like a self-loading cartridge or something like that, most people using a 30-06 either having M1 Grand, which is a self-loading rifle, or they have a bolt-action rifle of some variety. Well, 3040 Crag, bolt-action rifle. There's no self-loading rifles in 3040 Crag, I do believe. But for hunting applications, you don't necessarily need a self-loading rifle. Uh, 30-06, with its popularity, you can get the ammunition much uh, more available than 3040 Crag. But 3040 Crag also has its benefits. It takes a 308 diameter bullet, just like 30-06. So the ammunition bullets, the projectiles, uh, are interchangeable. You can find them very, very easily, basically everywhere in the United States. It's a standard size cartridge. Uh, on top of that, they take relatively the same kinds of powder. Uh, they take different kinds of powder, but they take relatively the same kinds of powder. 3040 Crag obviously takes uh, less powder than the 30 out 6. Um, the 3040 Crag also takes a uh, large rifle primer, just like the 30 out 6. So all of these are very easily obtainable. And 3040 brass is still made to this day. You can go out and you can buy it on the commercial market. It's not overly expensive. You can buy all those things together and suddenly you have yourself some 3040 Crag ammunition. The beauty about 3040 Crag ammo is that since it burns at far lower pressures than something like 30-06 and it head spaces on the rim of the cartridge, these are rimmed cartridges, you can reload them a lot, like a lot of a lot. These right here are hand loads. I've actually got bullets that I pulled from M2 Ball 30-06 ammunition loaded inside these 3040 Crag rounds. And uh, these right here being hand-loaded rounds, um, I think I've loaded them like a dozen times now or something like that. And they last 
for a long time. This right here is just one of those low pressure rifle cartridges that lasts forever. Whenever, well, not necessarily forever, but it lasts for a significant amount of time whenever we're talking about reloading purposes. I can sit here and reload these cartridges over and over and over versus something like 30 odd 6 where I reload them four to six times depending on powders and bullet types, etc., etc., and that'll determine how much power or how many times I can reload those cartridges. So the same arguments for the 3040 Crag can also be had for the 3030. I think that the 3030 for the environments that we are in here in Florida, along with the types of game that we're going after, the 3030 is probably a more ideal cartridge than something like 30-06, just because you're not gonna completely decimate the game animal that you're shooting at. I mean, short of like going for headshots to try and preserve as much meat as you possibly can, 30-06 is just a lot of power inside of a cartridge and it's not necessarily what you want when you're going after a 150 pound deer <laughs> that you like you, you don't want enough power to blow the deer in half and you don't want to damage a bunch of the meat 30 40 crag is just such a good round i have i've used this rifle this particular rifle for hunting many many times and it has served me very very well all right i'm angling the camera downward to the water right there so you guys can see the power of the 30 40 crag it's not exactly a 30 odd six, but that being said, even though it's not 30 odd six, it's my, there we go. A little bit of a magazine hang up there. Even though it's not 30 odd six, it's still plenty powerful enough to be able to take the size of animal that we would take at the distances that we would have to take them at. That is, oh God. Oh, I got wet from that one. That is definitely not an ups unsubstantial amount of power. These right here are 150 grain projectiles, and they should be traveling at approximately 2,500 feet per second. Now, that 2,500 feet per second, like I said, if you're looking to shoot over great distances or you're going after really large things, maybe a 150 grain pill at 2,500 feet per second, maybe that's not quite adequate enough for you. Uh, but something like 30 out 6 with that 150 grain moving at 3,000 feet per second, that is a lot more energy and a lot more power, a lot more destruction downrange. And that's just too much for the areas that I'm currently at. So that's one of the main reasons why I, wow, that's, that, that's one of the main reasons why I oftentimes take out my 3040 Crag for hunting way more than I take out my 30 out six. I've taken deer with 30 out six and I've taken deer with 3040 Crag, but here in Florida, the 3040 Crag just saves me so much more meat. Like you hit a deer center mass with 30 odd six, and it really does just completely destroy the thing. Huh? So, yeah, yeah, I think that this right here is definitely the better option to go. Of course, you can pick whatever it is that you want. I'm not sitting here telling you, hey, this is what I pick, so this is what you have to pick. I'm sure a lot of people out there are using 30 odd six over 3040 Crag just because of the rarity of the rifles and the ammunition. But if you're a hand loader, then that ammunition, it pays for itself. Because, well, you're spending, what, nowadays in 2024, a buck 50 per shot for 30 odd six, if we're talking about even mildly decent hunting ammunition, versus 30, 40 Crag to get all of the components and put everything together, probably about $2 a shot. But then the 30, 40 Crag can be reloaded way more than the 30 odd six brass can. So eventually, as time progresses, you're going to notice that it is going to be cheaper to shoot than the 30 odd six. I don't really know what else I'm gonna shoot at. I got one round of 30, 40 crag left. I'm going to shoot, actually right there's a piece of paper. I'm gonna shoot that, it's sitting on top of mud. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was a lot less spectacular than I was hoping it would be. <laughs> okay. Full metal jacket rounds, they don't uh, have a lot of energy transfer on the surface of a target, not like soft points would. If I were to hit the ground with some soft point 150 grain projectiles, we'd see a lot more energy transfer. Anyway, folks, that is my piece on the subject. That's all I have to say on it. For my particular area, my particular setup, of uh, my particular hunting needs, uh, my particular distances. I absolutely say that 3040 is the better cartridge to have, or even a 3030. Those would both be better options to have than something like a 30 out 6. And I am sure I'm still going to get lynched in the comments below, even though I've said my piece. That being said, thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate your time. 
Like, subscribe, share. Description below has a link to all sorts of stuff. Go check it out. You guys go off. Have yourself a fantastic day, and I will see you guys on the next episode. done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> the poor man's Garen. <laughs> Shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream.